Hey, what is up traders? Welcome back to Forex Gym. This is a weekly Forex analysis from 25th to 29th of May. In today's video, we're going to be analyzing Euro against USD, followed by a New Zealand dollar against US dollar. So let's jump into straight to the charts and start analyzing. Okay, guys, so we are starting with a Euro USD from the monthly time frame. Those who don't know me who are new to this channel, I do a top down approach and analyze from the high time frames and drill down to the shorter time frames. And then um, I will mention any entries, exits, all the uh, stop losses on this if I see any. Uh, if not, then I will say uh, what I'm thinking and what, what I will be waiting in the future on the next coming days. So, okay, we're starting with a monthly time frame. We can see that we do have this nice monthly trend line in here we can see this nice month trend line be going up for quite a long time since uh was it 2008 so we're still uh we're still uh, uh respecting this uh this trend line in here and if we look at it in here the price is pretty much making its way towards downside and uh, we have this uh, two months ago we put this uh, spike candle in here which uh, that what well, that was the time where the uh, coronavirus um, started to spiral up on it and uh, that's why we made this um, this crazy moves so the uh, what we can see in here that the price came down and tested this lows down here and now we are in sort of a chop your range we're gonna see that when we're gonna go to the shorter time frame so let's jump into the weekly time frame and see what we have in here okay so on the weekly time frame we do see that we are going up and down so when we look at the last couple of weeks uh, the price being all over the place up down up down so it, it doesn't really tell us where the price want to go this is the uh, uh, same thing with the most of the US pairs as well so we're gonna go to the daily time frame uh, the future is gonna be even clearer so go to the daily uh, time frame okay so on the daily time frame we can see that the price is sitting on this range bound in here so it's pretty much respecting this um, this resistance level as well as this uh, support level down here so uh, a couple of days ago the price went up and tested this um, this high and then now it's make its way towards downside what's interesting is that the price is uh, price came down and it's sitting on this uh, daily support level in here uh, this would have been a good a trade uh, to take the only uh, only thing is that on the weekly time frame it does not look particularly good so I decided to um, decided to wait but it will be on a sort of waiting list see what the price is gonna do uh, if the price continues to start to fall uh, from Monday and maybe next um, Monday Tuesday then we're gonna take the short trade uh, and Obvious, uh, obvious target is going to be down to this uh, this main support level. Maybe even price will break the support level because it's been tested for a couple of times already, and maybe it will even break and make its way down to this low. Uh, so far, it's a bit early to say, of course, but it's still uh, as a potential for this one to uh, watch. Uh, but that's obviously a probability. The price might uh, go and uh, continue to up when we're going to jump into that new zone against usd we're going to see a slightly similar picture but actually more um i will be waiting for that one to maybe break higher so that's why we are still sitting and see which one's gonna work out so of course these two have a high correlation the new zealand dollar against the uh, new, new zealand dollar in the usd as well as euro against usd these two have a high correlation so it's just a waiting game and uh, see what the price gonna do at this point i can't really mention any levels because uh, this is still uh developing currency so it's um on a watch list hopefully for the next week we're gonna see some uh, uh, decent moves and we will be able to trade on this okay guys so we continue with the New Zealand dollar against the USD so before I start analyzing this currency I do upload a lot of free content the only thing I would ask you from you guys is to smash that like it really means a lot to me and also it really supports my channel to grow so I do appreciate if you do uh, give a thumbs up
<laughs> so okay let's start with the NZD USD from the monthly time frame so we can see that the as of the big trend is towards downside and we made this spike on here uh, so that was again the coronavirus uh, events when it started to uh, spiral up so the price made its weight uh, fairly down but we left with this uh, with this big spike so let's go to the weekly time frame uh, on the weekly time frame as I mentioned earlier that uh, it is in a choppy range most of the US pairs are in the choppy range so it seems like only uh, British pounds pairs um, are performing uh, pretty well as of the trade wise and I did analyze the, uh, the, uh, some of them yesterday so make sure to check that one out as of my um, yesterday analysis this is also a weekly forex analysis but the different pairs we can see in here that the uh, this is also sort of a choppy range when we go, if we go to the daily time frame we're gonna have even a clearer view in terms of this one is looking better as a, than the euro against usd the reason why is that we can see in this area in here the momentum is pretty strong so the price managed to push uh, pretty aggressively and um, we had the reaction on this uh, resistance level so we're seeing this uh, mild retracement in here and also on a weekly time frames if you have a look at it um, yeah this candle in here looks decently uh, strong I know we have left this uh, small tail in here but there's nothing compared to the um, uh, the euro against usd we have on a euro against usd we have uh, pretty much half of the uh, tail so on here looks uh, more promising uh, towards upside uh, but this one of course it has the both potential either go down or up so that's why we need to wait and see which one's gonna uh, what the price is gonna do and as i mentioned the new zealand dollar usd and euro usd they do have a high correlation so i'm just waiting uh, which uh, what the price gonna do for the following uh, week as of this one it does looking uh, decently um, uh, strong so I would be looking to uh, go long on this currency if the price shows strength and uh, if it's gonna be if the price is kind of be coming down uh, euro USD looking more favorably towards short side than uh, than uh, this one uh, so I will be looking if it's if it's a long trade then I will be taking most likely the New Zealand dollar USD and if it's a short trade then I will be taking euro against USD um, the good chance is that I'm gonna mention my uh, the levels on the on my live forex analysis if I see any I do uh, mention that on my live forex analysis uh, which go which runs from Monday to Friday 8 a.m. UK time so we do have the one and a half hours I do make this uh, this analysis where you can ask questions as well as request any other currency analysis so depending which events gonna play out for the following week then we're gonna uh, play uh, with the market rules sort of uh, speak uh, because this currency is also still developing and we are sitting in this uh, choppy range I can't really measure levels at the moment because it will be uh, very inaccurate and I don't want to give you uh, inaccurate um, in accurate levels so uh, most likely I'm going to be mentioning in my live forex analysis so make sure you do not miss on that and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe thank you guys for watching this was a weekly forex analysis if you find this video helpful please smash that like it really means a lot to me and it supports my channel immensely and if you're new to this channel make sure to hit the subscribe i upload videos every single day also join our live forex analysis which runs monday to friday 8 a.m uk time where we can interact with each other on live you can ask questions as well as request any other currency analysis have a great weekend guys and i will see you in my life works analysis tomorrow at 8 a.m uk time have a great weekend